Welcome to Fortaloo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Fortaloo. You can link your accounts from the main page. If you don't see the supported sites, then they've already been linked. You'll notice that in this example, I've already linked my 500px, Flickr, and Twitter accounts, so you won't see those buttons here. Now, there's two types of Facebook links, profiles and pages. If you have Facebook pages for your photography, then you may choose to only link the page. If you have multiple pages, you'll see them in the drop down here, but I only have one page, so I can choose that one. Now, if you want to post to your Facebook profile so your friends and family can also see your photos, you can do that here with a link to Facebook. So this way, when you post a photo, you can post it to both your, your personal profile and your Facebook photography page. The last site I have to link is Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a Microsoft site, site that will help you sell licenses to your photos. If you don't have a Shutterstock account, you can sign up for one by clicking on this link. Shutterstock accounts work a bit differently, so you need to enter in your email and your password and able to link the account. And just click on the link Shutterstock account button. Now you only have to link your accounts once, and once you're set up, you can start posting. You can upload a photo by clicking on the Upload Photo button and then choosing the photo you want to upload. When the photo has been uploaded, it checks the Metabat data. So if you added a title or description or keywords in Lightroom uh, or any other photo program, then it will show up here. So you can see I actually already entered in the photo title and the, uh, the photo description when I set this up in Lightroom. So they're right in here and I'm going to be going to stick with those. So now if you have a, um, a site linked like Shutterstock, then you can enter in the stock data. Um, normally I do this because when I do my photo metadata, I'm normally posting to like Facebook and 500px and I like to kind of tell the story around the photo. But when I'm writing a stock title and stock description, I'm really writing for the search engine. So what I like to do is just put in just more keywords that people might search for because that's primarily what it's used for. And I just find I get better sites when I, or I get better sales when I do that. Next, if you have Twitter linked, you can enter in your tweet. Now you can copy the title or the description and then update it afterwards. So my description is a bit long, so I think I'll just update it. There's still one more. Take the period off. So that I can fit within the Twitter limit. You can basically see the limit where you are um, here within the brackets. Now you just have to go to scroll down and enter your category, so you can choose the category for it. Um, you can leave it as uncategorized, but that's used on sites like 500px. And then you can enter in your keywords. Now, if you had any keywords that um, were entered when you created the photo in Lightroom or any other thing, those will show up here. But then what Photoloo will also do is suggest keywords. I'm just gonna go here and look. It was in a reverse, so I'll get that one out. Those look pretty good, so I'm gonna accept those keywords. You can go here, there's not any snow in here, so I'm gonna X out and reject that one. Sky, take that one out. Yeah, that's pretty good, and I'll accept those ones. You can also go through and enter keywords here if you uh, if you want. So maybe I'll just do, to add another word for foggy, it's a good keyword, people may search for that. Right. Once you've entered all your keywords, then, then you can post. Now, it's possible to go here and uncheck and just post to some of your sites. But in this case, I'm just going to post to all of my link site at once. Okay. So now, you can see as Fortaloo will go and start posting to your sites. Okay, now that it's posted all the sites, if you click on the sites, you can actually go and just go look directly at the, uh, the photo where it's been uh, posted. So you can go here and take a look at that. And for most of the sites, any of the green arrows, you're pretty much done. You can uh, go look at the photos you want, but there's nothing extra you have to do. Now, for Shutterstock or other Microsoft sites that have the blue arrow, there's one more step that you need to go through. 
So what you need to do is basically just go in and fill in the rest of this form and um, and submit it. So you'll notice that the description is already here, the keyword that we entered, everything that we entered into Photoloo is already here. But we do need to go in and just choose a category, um, choose a couple of categories. If there's any people in this photo, you will need to go through and add the release. Um, I don't, so I'm just going to go here. And then I can just click the Submit for Review button. And that's it. I can go back and go to upload and just upload another photo. So we love hearing from you. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can just come here and click the feedback link and send me a note. Otherwise, happy posting.